your seven minute sensei where I attempt to explain everything that you need to know in seven minutes or less. Today I have chosen to do a short video on pro forma. This pro forma topic is brought up in the entrepreneurship class and actually several other classes. But in entrepreneurship, we need to know how to project uh, revenues and expenses, inflow and outflow. And so I am going to give you a quick demo within Microsoft Excel, using Microsoft Excel on how we do this. Now, rather than maybe bore you with a lot of business details and uh, have you try to imagine what uh, your income and your expenses might be for your business, what I'd like you to do for this assignment is to simply create a budget, a cash flow budget. And I only want you to do this for three months, for the month of October, November, and December. And essentially what I want you to do is, and you'll see in a moment here in the Excel spreadsheet, is to start out with a beginning balance, and then project your income or your revenues, and then project your expenses. And after you subtract out your expenses from your income, you should end up with an ending balance. That's what we wanna have. Now that ending balance for the month of October, you need to carry that over to the month of November, and that becomes the beginning balance for November. And it just continues through that flow, a cash flow analysis. The reason why we do this is because uh, we don't ever want to be caught shorthanded. And if we can do some budget forecasting, then we can anticipate where we might need to save up some extra money, might need to borrow money. Uh, there are a number of different things that we can do to remedy this situation. But by creating this cash flow budget, we can kind of take a big picture of you how um, our revenues and our expenses are looking. All right, let me go ahead and switch over uh, for you to Microsoft Excel. And here we are in Microsoft Excel. I would like you to replicate this. Of course, plug in your own numbers so it's more meaningful, more relevant to you. But I begin with a simple description, okay? And in this description column, I start out with a beginning balance. And then uh, the uh, next row, I've just indicated that this is the income that I am expecting for my regular job at $12 an hour. Well, at $12 an hour, that means on a monthly basis, you're making $2,080. Now keep in mind, I'm just trying to uh, keep our numbers simple for this demonstration. However, keep in mind, you do have to pay taxes. So this would not necessarily be your net, uh, your take home pay. Nevertheless, for this demonstration, this will uh, suffice. Next, I even indicate that maybe you might have a side gig of some sort, and you're pulling in, uh, you're drawing in $200 a month. Now we create a row for the month of October, November, December, total income. So this, in this particular cell, all we simply do is we sum the total of our income from our regular job plus the side gig. Now, just so you know, you can. there's two simple approaches to this. You can use either the equal sign and then point to each of the cells that you want to add uh, to your total, or in the top right here, uh, there is this uh, Greek sigma, and that is your auto sum. If you, are, if you have your cursor in the cell that you want to sum and you double click auto sum, it will auto sum those cells that are directly above it, okay? Next, we go to our expenses. And in the expenses area, I list, I think, what are probably the most common expenses that every household will have, whether it's a rent or mortgage, and then we have utilities, your insurance, that be uh, your car insurance, that would be your car insurance, as well as you likely want to have uh, a renter's insurance policy as well. Then you have your groceries, and I just uh, threw down 400, average 100 a week maybe. Your car, uh, so maybe you have a car payment, gasoline for the car, and then miscellaneous other expenses. 
Once again, here we could either use the equal sign and add each one of these cells up or have our cursor in that cell and then double click on the auto sum and that'll total that column up there, everything above that particular cell. And then at the very bottom, we have an ending balance. So that ending balance right here, that is, uh, we take our total income and we subtract out our expenses and hopefully we have a positive ending balance. Now you'll notice that this ending balance just simply carries over to the next month. So your ending balance for the month prior becomes now your beginning balance. And a quick way to uh, carry that information over is in this particular cell, in this example, cell C2, uh, you'll notice up here that we uh, just use the equal sign and the cell. So equal, and then we just point to that cell. And what it will do is it will say that that cell is equal to, in this case, B15, which was our ending balance. So all we did is we said, okay, the beginning balance is equal to the prior month's ending balance. Then we start all over again for the new month, November, and we do the same, and we do the same for December. And then you end up with the ending balance. I'd like you to use your own numbers. These are just numbers that I threw out. If there are other expenses that you can think of, uh, just simply add those rows in and add those to the total, and you should have some great results. So once again, this is a cash flow analysis or budget and allows us to kind of project our revenues and expenses and see where we might have a shortfall, where we might need to, you know, you might have uh, the month of December where you're spending more, maybe you're buying gifts. And in that particular month, you might need to have planned for savings for that particular month. Okay, so that's a good summary of what we need to talk about today. We are projecting expenses. This is a cash flow analysis or budget. And I'd like you to replicate this concept using your own budgets, using your own formulas. And whether you're working on this at home on your Chromebook or your PC or Macintosh, or you're working on this assignment in class, just follow these directions and uh, you should have some success. Hey, if you need help, don't hesitate to holler, give me a call, send me an email. This is Mr. Liu, your 7-Minute Sensei, saying peace out.